It was a brilliant starry night. There was no moon and I've never seen the stars shine brighter. Jack says goodnight to his parents at around 11.30. As he returns to his cabin, he feels the ship sway as though she had been gently pushed. Moments later, the engines stop. Jack goes to his parents' cabin and then accompanies his father back to the deck to investigate. They find a small crowd of passengers there. Thomas Andrews, the designer of Titanic, is talking to them. There are five bulkheads overflowing, he says. This ship is sinking. Passengers stare at him in silence until one says, You are sure, Mr Andrews? It is a mathematical certainty, he says. Ten minutes later, the Thayer family assemble on the now crowded deck. The mood is anxious but subdued. People are whispering about ice fragments. Jack can see no obvious damage. The chamber orchestra are already playing. Everyone is wearing life jackets as the crew hurry around issuing orders and answering queries. A space is cleared so that officers can launch white distress flares. These light up the sky. Still there is no panic, but the noise and the urgent activity of crew is clearly unsettling some passengers.